We've heard of Abraham and Sarah and Hagar and the birth of Ishmael. And, and as bad as that was, well, you remember the story of the grandson of Abraham. Jacob, who was be renamed Israel later, is a whole nother level compared to what his grandfather had done. That Jacob marries one woman. He marries Leah, but he doesn't really want to be married to her. He wants to be married to her sister, Rachel, because Rachel is beautiful. And so he marries both women. He marries both sisters. Can you imagine the rivalry between the two of them driving their, their desire for their husband's affection? Well, things heat up and the rivalry becomes intense, especially when Leah has a son. And then she has another and yet another and yet another fourth son. Leah, this wife that Jacob didn't really want, and yet he, she, is giving Jacob children. All the while, Rachel is barren. Certainly, at some point, Jacob would begin to prefer Leah because he has given her so many children, so Rachel finds a way to fight back. She, like Sarai had done before, gives her servant Bilhah to lay with her husband Jacob so that they might have a son on their behalf. And so Jacob and Bilhah lay with one another, and she has a son. And she has yet another son, until Leah decides that she can play that game too. And so Leah gives her servant Zilpah to her husband Jacob, and the two of them lie to, with one another, and she has one son, and yet a second son again. But they're not done yet. The rivalry continues, the, the fighting and the battle continues, so that Leah force is, feels forced to purchase a knight with her husband. And so she does, and so she lays with her husband and gives him one son and again and gives him a second son so that now Jacob has ten children from three different women and one of his wives has none whatsoever. Until, finally, Rachel does have a son, the son Joseph. And eventually she has a second later on who is called Benjamin. But these two women, these four women fighting over one man, wives manipulating one another, manipulating their husband, the husband enabling the whole rivalry and the whole thing to happen. Yet it is through this, through this sin, through this wretchedness, this rivalry and competition between sisters over a husband, that God brings forth the twelve tribes of Israel. He brings forth his great nation, one nation under God, through these sinners. These sinners are God's chosen people. And he saves them, forgives them, and preserves them through it all. In Jesus' name, amen.